Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be repasting KS3M, but uh, if you remember from previous video, our temperatures were super high on the chip 31 and 32. And after even putting fruition design and running 100%, it actually dropped right there only to 106, 105 degrees on chip 31 and 32. And even some other chips, uh, uh, were a little bit higher in temperatures besides the 31 and 32. They're 34, like 96. So they're really uh, high temperatures. I, I was hoping fruition design gonna help, but I guess, uh, yeah, there's 53, 54, 56. They're getting close to 100 degree. So pretty dangerous for this uh, miner. I need to open it up and see what's going on with board two and probably repaste all of the boards since I'm gonna be, you know, dealing with that just at once so i'll be using the max 6 thermal paste recommended but uh, by t swift and uh, let's get to it let's go and open up that miner and see what's inside all right so we're going to take a uh, hash board from this side uh, we are you remember we left the holes there we drilled the hole there at the bottom so we can remove all these four screws at the corners and take hopefully the whole sink out. So let's try it out. So now when you disconnect, we get a full board. Uh, we need to remove this plate. Sorry about that. be unscrewing this uh, boards one by one I'll label this boards one two three so we'll go probably uh, one two three this is number three work all right so let's do it one by one Just zooming in, I don't know if you guys could see this. This plastic sticker, it looks like was glued uh, in the wrong side. If you could tell, there is a larger spaces here uh, between this one, two, three, four chips, and then a little bit larger space between this chip four and five, and then all uh, spaces the same at the end. And looks like they flip. This is the large spacing. And that's the short spacing. So on the other chipset sticker, it's perfectly fine, right? Because they put it in the right side. The larger space is here. So if you guys notice that your plastic reversed, it's completely uh, covering the chip. So that's going to be already issue number one. I don't know how they missed it. I surprised this my um, case three zero not completely fried up. Anyways, I'm gonna try to remove this plastic. I don't know if I can reuse it. So now you can see I just removed this sticker. I don't know if I can remove, reuse it, but if I flip it over the other side, it fits perfectly between the chips. So I don't know what Ice River doing. Come on, it's this is just a horrible thing. And if that's gonna hold, I'm gonna try the best as I can uh, reapply the paste and finish cleaning up first probably and then I'll try to put that back. So watch out for this sticker. If it's reversed, it's, it's gonna be a horrible thing for your chips. And I need to put the sticker back as careful as possible that all the chips are exposed. This is such a bad, bad messed up, guys. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I did first part, first half of the chip. So make sure don't miss any chips, first half of the board. Uh, on this, I don't wanna put it together because this plastic will be really difficult right now to apply. So I need to hold it and uh, make sure not to mess up. So I'll do it on the second phase uh, and put it together. Alright, so I managed to put a new thermal paste on every chip. Uh, the goal is really to apply to every single chip and is uh, equal as possible and uh, as much as possible in center. So I reverse the sticker, hopefully it will not jump on me, but I'll, I'll put down really carefully the plate and attach first one already done, so let's get the second one. I hope it's gonna work. So let's try them on. I'll put it up and uh, we'll see if that fan gonna work. I think it's fan number one there. All right, perfect. And let's cover it up. So we'll connect this bump back on uh, the back of the miner and let's get it ready. All right, so we're back in the shed. We are installing back AC Infinity fan. We're gonna connect back the ducting and the uh, get the Ethernet cable ready, plug it in the power and start the miner. So it looks like um, everything gonna be uh, going on. The miner should be on and getting online pretty soon. So we'll be able to see it on web GUI and check the stats. Uh, so with the new thermal paste, let's check it out how we're doing. Uh, I'm going to lay around and get the report, maybe uh, get another day just to run it also and see how it's going on with this setup. Hopefully the uh, we can get a better result with the AC Infinity fans as well. We can set up the uh, 
our speed on the fan controller and just to make sure it goes uh, up when it needs to when the temperature rises and slowing down at night just to uh, save some energy on these miners all right let's go and check it out all right so we are in ice river monitoring tool uh, and all of our boards under 80 around 80 uh, degrees on the chip the 81 they're one of the chip there but it's uh, it's still great it's not even going uh, close to 90 now uh, thanks for AC infinity automation option there for that Wi-Fi controller it just beautiful worked for me uh, you set it up your uh, temperature level where it's going to trigger and increase of the temperature will trigger the level of AC fan I have the separate video how to set it up and make it work so all you gotta play with the numbers that it works for your chip temperature and kind of find the tune proper you know fine tune for your uh, specific uh, miner so that will uh, you could see all my board one now is perfectly uh, set for uh, temperatures and by the way on the new tool you can click just on the upper line here on the top and it will organize the highest to lowest temperature for you automatically so you can pull all the highest voltage all the highest temperature or you just organize by one through uh, 56 chips for that specific miner but my board too is happy now after i switch that plastic away from those chips look at that 62 versus 106 or 108 degrees that's like it's almost double uh on the uh and i was running a hundred percent fan believe it or not so now I'm, uh, and it was cooler now it's like 90 percent at the middle of the day so it's a little bit warmer now the temp uh, the it, i was able to drop the level at night almost going to about 70 or 60 percent when it's a lot cooler so yeah anyways also a quick note here i'll show you my uh, second uh ks3m right there number two also beautiful temperatures like not going too far but 80 so 81 82 probably the highest with running on this uh, Parisian design kit so I greatly recommend that and with AC infinity automated option set up now quick thing you can copy and paste what I noticed the whole entire line from your um, browser where you have even with user and login and just click read oh I didn't switch to this is my KS3 you click read and it's gonna get your miner there so this is my KS3 and it's going to give you up everything perfectly uh, same way perfect information set up you know like there you don't really have to uh, delete any of that stuff you just can copy and paste uh, with user login even or just like that with http and then if you read it i'll show you real time so it works beautifully i like that you don't have to really think about it you just copy and throw in here where your ip address so i hope you like that video guys um, uh, click the like button if you did and consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you on the next one